Is it true that they're not teaching cursive in school anymore? I heard that. That um, they're teaching, like, computer skills in school now instead. But um, I was shocked to hear that. Because I'm someone who writes in cursive. Like, this is... I write in cursive. And um, I'm like, oh my god, kids aren't going to write in cursive anymore. I guess I'm like... If you got a thousand people in a room, I'd be the only person who writes in cursive normally, but still, I was kind of surprised by that. So, I, I, the reason I bring this up is because I stayed after school with my speech contest kids, and after we finished the speech contest, one of them was, like, signing her name, and she was just writing in cursive, but she, instead of writing an S, she wrote a K, and I was like, oh, that's not, that's not an S. And she was like, oh, no, it is, it is, and I'm like, no, it's a K, let me show you. So I showed her on the board how you write an S, and then I showed her how to write her name, and she was like, oh, my God, it looks so good. And then all the other kids wanted to learn theirs, too, and then they started um, trying to think of kanji that would fit with my name, but it wasn't really working. <laughs> it was kind of funny. We, it came out to be like, seven or eight kanji long, <laughs> just for my first and last name, you know, it's, uh, four syllables, <laughs> eight kanji, it was crazy. Um, so, <laughs> Bruce Lee Mullet Kid came in late today, as he usually does. He usually only just shows up at about lunchtime to get lunch, which is so bad, but, um, he was wearing his school uniform, and it start, it's, still pretty warm out, but um, it's starting to get cooler, so he had the jacket of the school uniform on. But he hasn't worn this since last year, since it had been cold, so probably like not since March. So March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, that's like seven months. And for a, for a 14 to 15 year old boy, that is so much time, and he grew so much over that period of time, but he was still wearing the jacket anyway, and it looked hilarious because it was like the sleeves were just like here on him and the pants the pants were really short too and uh, the teachers were like oh well we should get you a new school uniform because you look ridiculous so they they had a bunch of extras down in the teacher's room so he got a new one I guess I don't know I, I guess they don't pay for them but that seems crazy maybe maybe it's just one that's on loan but they just couldn't stand how ridiculous he looked Whatever it was, it was kind of funny. I was kind of laughing at, at how silly he looked. I already closed this for some reason. Um, so, it's kind of funny today. After one class, the English teacher just suddenly looked at me and he was like, so, why does America hate small businesses? And I was like, what? <laughs> Where did that come from? Like, it literally just came out of nowhere, and I was like, I, I, uh huh, and then he started talking about, like, well, I was watching news about the 99%, blah, 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 and he, like, went off about that kind of stuff, and I was like, oh, oh, I see, I understand, and I, he sort of just like, so, so, what, what do you think, and I was like, I, I don't know, I really, I, I don't understand why it works, or actually, why it doesn't work, rather, I don't understand how it works really, um, in, as far as, like, why rich people don't get taxed, etc. If I go any further into this, then it's going to be a debate in the comment section. Please don't debate about this. And if you do, please be friendly with each other, but it's like, I, <laughs> I couldn't explain it to him. And I was like, I really, I, I have no answers for you. It just was funny how it, like, just <laughs> came up so randomly. Um, a ninth grader was taking a test today, or uh, maybe yesterday, not yesterday, because yesterday was the weekend, maybe Friday, um, and one of the teachers came up to me, and she handed it to me, and she was like, is this answer right? So, they were supposed to translate the sentence, and translate it officially, it was, the answer was, does she have a camera? And I was like, okay, but the kid wrote, has she a camera? And I was like, oh, okay. Well, technically, has she a camera? Technically, yeah, I, I guess that's right. But he didn't know that. He didn't, like, go into that question knowing, 
has she a camera would be a potentially correct answer. He, you know, you know what I mean? So confusing. Like, <laughs> he didn't realize that it was just going to just so happen to be correct. And if someone asked me, have you a camera? I would be like, why did you ask me like that? So, it, 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 if he wrote it on a test, I don't think that a Japanese person who was receiving the test would look at it and be like, yes, I accepted that answer. So I was just like, no, I, I don't, I don't, it's not right. I mean, it is, but it isn't. So, um, yeah, I felt kind of bad because, like, technically it's an okay answer, but it would be wicked weird. Um, yeah, so that's all I got. The speech contest is on Thursday, and I guess I never told you the my girl who was in the speech contest a couple weeks ago, she came in one of the second place slots. So there are 45 kids who entered, and three out of those kids would go on to the All Tokyo um, Speech Contest. All Japan <laughs> Speech Contest in Tokyo. And then 10 kids get like a second place, or I guess maybe like an honorable mention, and she was one of those kids. So. Uh, the three kids who ended up going to Tokyo are um, three kids in private schools. Which I don't know why private schools compete in the same contest as public schools. It's just, it's just not fair. It just seriously isn't fair. But I was really happy for her getting a second place slot. Because as far as I'm concerned, once you take the, the um, pri private school kids out of it, she got first place. That's my feeling on the matter. And, um... This Thursday, there's another speech contest, which is, it's only for my city, it's not for, um, the other girl was in the one for the prefecture, this one's for just the city, and there's a 7th grader, an 8th grader, and a ninth grader competing in it, and there's 12 kids per grade competing. Um, and I I feel really good. I feel really good about all of them, but one of them in particular, she was in the contest last year when she was a seventh grader. She's in it again this year, and her speech is so solid. It's excellent. I'm very happy about it. And the other two are solid, but hers is, like, natural. Like, for most speeches last year anyway, I would have to follow along, or else I wouldn't really understand what they were talking about. But I feel like hers is really cohesive without having the speech in front of you and reading along with it. So, I was, I was, I'm really happy about that. And that's going to be this Thursday, and I have to judge. I really don't want to, but I have to. But, whatever. Anyway, now this is dragging. So, I'll see you tomorrow.